Groups are a very basic way of creating lists of records that share something in common. A group can be a list of your active clients, a list of people you met at a specific meeting or a convention or just about anything else. It's like a tagging or labeling system, and you can create as many different groups as you need. To add a contact or company to a group, just click here. Next, you'll see your available groups. Just click to add this contact to one or multiple groups or add them to a new group on the fly. Now you'll see those group tags on their record and you can remove them in just one click. Or add a contact to a group when you first create them. I've already filled out their contact info, so I'll just click here to attach a group as well. To add a bunch of contacts to a group at once, go to your contacts and companies list. Use the check boxes along the left side to select the contacts you need, then use the action bar at the bottom of the page to assign them to a group. You can also use that bar to remove contacts in bulk from groups too. Once you've created a group, you'll just be one click away from seeing everyone in that list or add a filter to narrow down your database to a specific group. Need to change or edit one of your existing groups? Easy, just head to your group's settings page. Here, you'll see the name of each group in your CRM and you can jump to a group, rename it, or delete group names from this page. Keep in mind, deleting a group doesn't delete the records inside of that group, so you're not deleting records, just the group name itself. If you have multiple users in your CRM, you'll also see some other options here. Each group by default is created as a private group, meaning only the creator can see that group name. It does not affect whether other users can or cannot see the records in that group. That part still depends on your contact sharing permissions. So let's say that you have a private group, but your permissions make your contacts visible to everyone else on your account. They'll still be able to see those contacts in the CRM. They just won't see the option to filter by that group and they won't see that group tag on those records. And if you're an administrator, you can make changes to other users' private and public groups here. My colleague John has a private group, but that should probably be public so we can both see and filter by it. As an admin, I can change that group setting, which is account-wide. So that's how groups work. But one common question is when to use groups and when to use pipelines. It really just depends on what you need to do. Groups are the simpler option between the two. They let you build contact lists that are quick to edit and reference, but not much beyond that. We don't log anything about a contact's group history, so they're either tagged in a group right now or they're not. Pipelines are better for process tracking, and all pipeline activity gets logged in a contact's history. There is sometimes some gray area in which is the better option, but generally speaking, if you're tracking a process from start to finish, like lead tracking, pipelines are probably your best bet. If you just need to segment your contacts into different lists, go with groups. If you're not sure which to use, click that help button and give us a call or shoot us an email. Thanks for watching.